Are you faithful to the Christ or to him who is deceiving you? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is Father Angel from the Mission of San Andrew in Tijuana, Diocese of Mexico of the Orthodox Church in America. Welcome to the Gospel for May the 1st, 2020, according to St. John. I can do nothing on my own. As I hear, I judge. And my judgment is just, because I seek not to do my own will, but the will of him who sent me. If I testi testify about myself, my testimony is not true. There is someone who testifies on my behalf, and I know that his testimony to me is true. You send messengers to John, and he testified to the truth. Not that I accept such human testimony, but I say these things so that you may be saved. He was a burning and shining lamp, and you were willing to rejoice for a while in his light. But I have a testimony greater than John's, the works that the Father has given me to complete, the very works that I am doing, testify on my behalf that the Father has sent me. And the Father who sent me has himself testified on my behalf. You have never heard his voice, nor seen his form, and you do not have his word abiding in you, because you do not believe him whom he has sent. You search the scriptures, because you think that in them you have eternal life, and it is they that testify on my behalf. Yet you refuse to come to me to have life. I do not accept glory from human beings, but I know that you do not have love of God in you. I have come in my Father's name, and you do not accept me. If another comes in his own name, you will accept him. How can you believe when you accept glory from one another, and not seek the glory that comes from the one who alone is God? Do not think that I will accuse you before the Father, your accuser is Moses, on whom you have set your hope. If you believe Moses, you would believe me, for he wrote about me. But if you do not believe what he wrote, how will you believe what I say? After this, Jesus went to the other side of the Sea of Galilee, also called the Sea of Tiberias. A large crowd kept following him because they saw the signs that he was doing for the sick. Glory be to thee, O God, glory be to thee. Are you faithful to the Christ or to the one deceiving you? Imagine that you have a beautiful marriage, that you are just one year married, and you have a beautiful wife or a very handsome husband, and you're very happy. You are so happy that you are expecting you, you are expecting any time to have a children. And there comes a deceiver, a woman or a man, very attractive, that would like to ultimately destroy your marriage. And he starts wooing your partner. And then he or she would show him or her that he's a better lover than you, that he would provide anything that you lack, that he will do things more the way that he or that your wife or your husband wants, whatever it is. If that interloper ever is able to have your wife or your husband commit adultery, then that is a huge wedge in your matrimony. A huge wedge. Suppose that you are a woman that is married to or your man, to your husband, and he has a child with, with that other woman. She probably will use the child and say, well, okay, now you're mine. Because I have given you a child. And that other woman that you had didn't give you a child, so now you have to come and live with me and I will make it better for you and everything. If a man 
came out to be, turned out to be the one that is making pregnant your own wife. Maybe he could say, well, you see, the one, the, the one that you have is useless. He can do anything for you, so I will fulfill you, I will give you whatever. And he will break away your marriage. And it is the same thing the devil wants to do. He wants to lie, and he doesn't care to pretend himself to be even your very husband. Just came to my mind this funny thing about twins. There were two male twins, and they were wicked. One of them got got married, and they, the twin, not the not the one, not the husband, when they showed up at their home uh, and started acting as if as if he was the husband and wanted to kiss the woman, but when she kissed him, she found out that it was not him. It was very funny, but wicked. It's the same. The devil will present himself to you as Christ. But only a faithful one will be able to bring you to, the, to become faithful. Only the one that branch that is attached to the vine, only him will take you directly to the master. Everything else will deceive you. Be very careful whom you are following if you really want to be saved. For blessed is our God, always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen.